and welcome back. Dark and Ran in Mass Effect 3. Hello. Last time we, for like the millionth time, went around, delivered stuff on the Citadel, still have more shit to deliver, and find. <laughs> As usual, yes. Listen, listen, listen. The Mass Effect series is just a one long side quest. That's occasionally interrupted by the main quest. Yeah. So what's even on the galaxy map at this point? I can never trust my, my journal. <laughs> Quite a bit, Broly. Uh, not actually, not a lot. Protean side. Protean side. Let me see if I can get that blinker off the damn screen already. I swear we already found this already. Hmm. Oh well. Well, I guess you know about to find out. Yeah. Amazon. So is this where is this where Jeff Bezos lives? I found something. <laughs> I'm not apologizing. Well, we clearly had things to find. Clearly. Where did I put my phone? That's just salvage. Nothing to see here. Oh boy, more fuel. Yeah, like we totally needed that. Well, it wasn't even the right system anyway. Still, might as well check Correct. everything out. Signal confirmed. Hmm. I guess I was wrong. So it was <laughs> so experimental servers M44 hammerhead. Okay. Oh my. We just randomly find a hammerhead lying around. I see nothing wrong with that. Avatar of Agility. Okay. We'll come back for stuff later. Yup. Now. I know there's something we can pick up over here. And the only other thing on the menu, I guess, is going to meet with the Corians. So let's make a run over here real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully my voice will hold together because it has been falling apart every now and then. Yeah. Dark didn't have the plague, but he may as well have had it. Yeah, he sounded very rough earlier. So very rough didn't quite cover. I, one of my, one of the other guards I work with was like, "Dude, you sound like you've been smoking twelve packs a day." <coughs> and you don't even smoke. Exactly. I I I made I, I made a joke with someone. You know, maybe this is how, this is how they they voice ghouls in the Fallout games. They just get someone with a fucked up throat. What are you looking at, smooth skin? <coughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Where is it? Or do I already have it? I wouldn't put it past me. Me neither. Yes, I know I'm almost out of fuel. No, I don't give a fuck. I found something. I found something. I, I, ah! <laughs> Shut up! Sorry, engineers. Sorry, science team. Still not what I'm looking for. It's like when you run out of fuel, it just forces you to go back to the hub system. <laughs> Or there's something here. Mm. 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 
There it is. The Speria period statue. There's an Asari on the Citadel looking for that. No fucking surprise. Yeah. Eh, we'll be back here. This is the Asari's home system. We'll be coming back here eventually. Yep. Well then, shall we go meet with the Koreans? Finally! Korean Envoy ship. What's over here? Wreckage field. Oh my. A vast field of wrecked wreckage floats near Karam. Metallic debris glinting in the red light of Dolan. Radio scans pick up occasional chittering of Geth platforms floating in the void. A huge battle appears to have recently taken place, as evidenced by the wreckage of Geth ships and orbital stations that litter the zone. Intelligence suggests the fleet station that Karam was at 5,000, 10,000 ships, and destroying there was no small fleet. Feet. ED notes that scans show no other debris among the wreckage. However, their attackers managed it to get the could not or did not see their enemy to return fire. Hmm. Curious. Indeed. You know, Korean envoy ship. <clears throat> this diplomatic frigate is like no Korean ship on record. Its hull, re its hull is relatively low temperature, and it appears to be venting heat in a manner similar to that of the Normandy when it comes out of stealth mode. How the Koreans develop this high-tech vessel is unknown. But its hailing frequencies are open and welcoming messages are being tight beamed to the Normandy. Button? Let's go. Hmm. Similar to the Normandy, huh? A pleasure to see you again. Though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our home world which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Rana? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system, when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we are... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here, a Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes, cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. <laughs> Ali! Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. Fair enough. That you are. <laughs> I'm 
glad you're here. Why didn't you tell me? I would have helped. Oh, thanks, but I knew you had your own problems. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. And what about us? Would us being together divide the fleet? No. Well, possibly. <laughs> so adorable. <laughs> I don't know. But right now, I've got civilian ships taking fire. Can we keep this quiet? At least in front of the admirals? Sure thing, Miss Oz Normandy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> if you want to talk in private, maybe you could invite me up to your cabin? Maybe I could. I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed it. And for the record, still totally worth it. <laughs> I like that head shake. God damn it. <coughs> you alright, darling? I'll survive. Let's see if we can. First order of priority, Dali. It's like, um, you two can wander off. Yes, in fact, we can. Good. Tally. I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. Yes, you can. Hey, you're not alone. This was supposed to be my father's fight, but he left me with all of this. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tal. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. You've given up so much. Stood for too long without allies. I didn't want you to do this alone. So, if you're ever lonely, just let me know. Tell me. Nothing between us has changed. Unless you want it to. Kila Shepherd, I'm not going to beg, but I didn't come up here just to see the fish. What fish? No. You came <laughs> up here because I asked you to. I want you here. With me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Precious. Yo. Yeah. Achieve would get Paramore. <laughs> Energy drain of Hobo and Bay. Oh my. That sounds useful. Eh, not my kind of ability. It's like emphasis on sounds useful, I wouldn't really know. It's flashing. Nothing. Eh. No, I wasn't stuck on the on the stairs. Why would you think that? Well, damn it. Right. Let's just jump headlong into this idiocy. Oh boy, what could possibly go wrong? Yee! Don't answer that. What hasn't already gone wrong? The migrant fleet, a flotilla of 50,000 craft holding over 17 million Koreans. The migrant it's fleet. It's about a few. 
the migrant fleet is the largest array of spacefaring vessels in the known galaxy. It is a testament to the Corian's strategic skill that these numbers have not dropped significantly during the recent battles. The fleet is now on the far side of the star from Rannoch to better cloak its movement from the Geth. Geth Debris Field. Close to the star, the Normandy scanners can detect an uncountable number of Geth satellites. Stat statites. Satellites that use solar sails to self-correct their position. The Geth place the ultra-lightweight constructions around the sun to collect energy, arranged in a vast array known as a Dyson bubble. Scattered among them are space stations that ser and servers that draw power from, st from the statites through wireless energy transfer. Most of the space stations are wreckage now, and no small number of solar sails have also been destroyed. It appears the Corians began to destroy them, but were stopped before the attack was complete. Mm -hmm. And here we are, Geth Dreadnought. Scans of the Geth Dreadnought orbiting Rannoch reveal an intimidating array of features, from an improved main gun and ultraviolet anti-ship lasers to increase thruster output. The Geth workforce never demands rest, wages, or autonomy, and in the creation of their flagship, they were limited only by time and raw material. The damage inflicted by the Corian fleet appears minor at best. Oof. Oh, time to solo it, or... Three person it. Yeah. Time to pseudo stealth it. Stealth. Tally. I mean, you're stealthing into the ship. <laughs> and yes, of course, Tally. Variety of different appearances. Mm -hmm. Including that the that modded one that has the clear faceplate because it looks nice. Hmm. But honestly, I kind of like this one that has the. Uh, combat visor. That does look rather nice. And... Um, Javik? Mm. Garrus and you James both have good lines. I don't think I've ever brought Javik, actually. I mean, I'm curious about that. Yeah. James is funny because he calls Tally Sparks, and when she questions him, he <laughs> stutters trying to, trying, trying to explain it. <laughs> and I don't know how it works how it is when um, you're romancing Tally, but if you bring Garrus, uh, he mentions that, doc and you have Dr. Michelle, he mentions that she left, she gave him some Dextro chocolate. And she goes, Dr. Michelle gave you Turian chocolate? Yes, why? Oh, no reason. The one other option I was going to suggest was the Eevee, but I, mean, I guess would they be already a, know ED, so... Yeah, ED would be an excellent option, though. Oh, well. I mean, she has hacking and all that other stuff. Yeah. I mean, so does Tali, I think. Mm. No, I don't need the intro for this. Too close quarters. Now let's see what does Tally get. Hmm. And shotgun. A Corian shotgun. Fun. I mean, why not, right? Yeah. The other option I would have given her was would be the Geth shotgun, so... <coughs> At the irony. I know, right? Now let's see... Well, I may as well max out combat drone. Rockets are well. changed like rockets. Is that even a serious question? Fair enough. Energy drain, sabotage, drone, defense drone, and Corian machinist. Go for the optics, chica. Hmm. 
Okay, let's have um, let's have a little fun. Yep. Yep. We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Luckily, look straight at the camera. <laughs> I was waiting to see you, would. And like you said, they go shitstorm. Yeah. My cyber warfare suite has accessed the dumping As opposed to a fake dead one. Okay, <laughs> Savage. I mean, fed enough. Which way's up? Um, yes. No wonder the ah, that's right. Yeah. Fifty percent larger than the biggest thing in an alliance fleet. Tally, you're gonna like the view. Watch. I mean, it is a good view. Yeah. And yes, Rand. Of course, the sun is fucking bright. There's no atmosphere or anything else to uh, filter it. Yeah, fair enough. Welcome to space. It's empty. Aside from, you know, hundreds of ships duking it out right now. Beat this. You know, you would think Shepard would hurry the fuck up. Uh... What are you doing, the lack of gravity is a little disorienting. If you know that's even possible. Until then, I'll make do with mag boots. That. Yeah, he can't can't run because we're in zero G. Mag boots. Fair enough. Oof. That was a little close. Yeah. The rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the dreadnought. I mean, I could. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the dreadnought schematics. If you can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. Yeah, fair enough. I've got gravity again. Great. I'm looking for... Got it. There should be a hull breach not far from your position. The nearest undamaged docking tube is on the other side. I think I've... No, I don't have ammo types. Found that hull breach you mentioned. Admiral Oof. I mean, yeah, relatively speaking, this is a tiny fucking event? hole. Yeah.
Get your people out of here safe. I mean, getting down to it, a hole of that size, that's more or less what like a fucking boarding crew would try cutting in, cutting out. Yeah. If they, you know, we're cutting through the hull. Mm-hmm. Oh. The floor fell out. What? Well, at least they did a little damage to it. Yeah. It's something. Emphasis on a little. That doesn't sound good. I found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Got it. You're clear to board. That is indeed a combat plate. Something to protect her lovely face. All quiet mm -hmm. so far. They haven't detected us yet. Thank you for having me over. Well, I don't actually know where I'm going. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, hmm. take a look at this. And the pistol tally we'll be using from here on. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Fair enough. That good, huh? It's an arc pistol. Gorian made. Oh my. But for now... Looks impressive. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts... So where are we headed? Whoops. We're looking for an operations center. I can disable the lethal command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. It's never simple, is it? Lasers? They're using ultraviolet frequencies, not infrared. That's a lot more expensive and a lot more powerful. When the fleet rushed the dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. You okay? I will be. Thanks. I know we're here now. What's to yeah, what's going to happen? Mass Effect doesn't really do actual stealth after all. I wish. That'd actually be interesting. Right? Like, can you imagine if you could actually figure out a way to completely stealth through this entire dreadnought? I mean, you probably wouldn't do it, but I would. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Yeah, good question. Troopers don't have shields. Hmm. Yeah? Oh. Mines. Oh my. I am not apologizing. There's a reason I didn't acknowledge. <laughs> Look, the signal's hitting all gas processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. In my sight, a race called the Jar used machines. The Jar team has synthetic symbiotes. The Reapers subjugated the Jar team as they have the gas. Their mechanical swarms blotted out the sky. They were brutal, merciless. Kina, what did you do? We sent their star to Supernova. That's not really an option here. 
Not yet. <laughs> Not I destroyed yet. a system to take up the Alpha Relay. It wasn't an easy decision. Combat data. What's the state of the battle? We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. I won't let you down, Tally. <sighs> Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? No. Anything we do here, the Geth could counter. Too many fault checks and redundancy levels for what we need to do. Yeah, fair enough. Did you indeed kind of explain that? Yeah. The Dreadnought Operation Center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. Hunters. The hunters are moving in. Don't hide anymore. There's one. Careful. Don't come. Hello there. Back off. Oh. <laughs> you what, you didn't see him? I can that just happened to miss him, I guess. And then you shot him. <laughs> just blew him def away. Like, get yeah, the Then fuck. I definitely saw it. I think it's handling information from all get everywhere. More mines. Gotta love them. I'll take some of that. So he does specifically call them synthetics as well. No, oh no, I like how the characters have different calls depending on what they're facing. Yeah. Ah, uh, I hate if you accidentally switch to the wrong weapon, you can't change it. You just gotta go with what you grab. I see you. Oh wow, I just went right through him. For the eyes. Nobody want to talk about the fact that we're basically like gonna run down the bar run down the, the gun ship's main gun's barrel. This ship is not quite. It's meant for synthetics, not organics. Synthetics do not care for organic ease of use or aesthetic beauty. In some cases they actively oppose it. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I appreciate what you're doing here, Shepard. Well, I care deeply about the Quarian people. It's good to be back on the Normandy. Let me know if it's too <laughs> quiet for you to sleep, and I'll find you someplace louder. Hmm. <coughs> I don't understand. 
Shepard and Tally became physically intimate during their fight against the Collectors. <laughs> I see the A pointless exercise. Thank you, Edie. <laughs> Thank you, Edie. <laughs> That's where we're going. Mm-hmm. Keep your head down. What could possibly go wrong? What's Watch in the here? shock waves? That's a big gun. In front of the main car, the number eight. I think we should have what we're doing. We should be able to Are they not affected by it? I guess not. They don't have shields. Oh, it is. It only it's, it, it's, it's an EM shockwave. Ah. You know, I just imagine that what goes through the barrel of through the barrel of the main gun would do more than just, you know, EM. Oh, it does. But what goes through there is what you got to worry about. The ones that will have shoots still affected by it? Hard to tell. I mean, you were aiming at one, the shoots didn't really work. You mind? Oh, this is gonna suck. Damn it! Not fast enough? Not fast enough. Like I said, that was gonna suck. Yup. Uh oh. Just stay down for a minute. Like that took way longer than I expected. Ow. You mind. At least you probably hit your shield. At least you still have your shield. No, it doesn't affect them. That's annoying. Where's that fucking rocket trooper? Fight amongst yourselves. Hmm. Oh, did you hack one of them or something? Yeah, I used I used a. Uh... I forgot you had that ability. Yeah, I had sab I have sabotage. Remember, you're the one who convinced me to play an engineer this round. Yeah, it's just that you know, we haven't really fought much. We you could use that on, so. Yeah. I forgot that specific ability was one you had. Okay, tally. tally is completely unaffected as well. Fuck. I was close. Indeed. Was that the same worth of thing? No. no, that was just loot. 
Yeah. <coughs> Let's try and get down. Might as well. Oh, it's got some. Okay. They've stopped firing. That's ominous. Yes, now we're in the main barrel. Oh. Now is where you don't want to be. Time to go. We live another hour. Watch your field. Another hour, like it's not even the year or anything. Just of course. Have you seen some of the missions Shepard goes on? Fair enough. Just because you survive one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Yes, Commander. I did not mean to tell you to switch weapons. And Shepard has already survived uh, about a few. Shepard has survived dying. <laughs> yeah, that too. I think you missed. That won't. I don't know. Unfortunate. Hunter. Oh, I didn't get to think. <laughs> yes, I do still remember that. <laughs> Shut up. It is my sworn duty to ding every time you miss a melee attack. Right I think we have established this. Fuck off. Oh, that was an achievement. Cool. There, you get a ding. Are you happy? Ding! Ah, that hurts. I see you, sneaky motherfucker. Oh, there's another one of you. How nice. Fuck off. Fight amongst yourselves. So it did. Oh, I missed a melee opportunity. There we go. Ouch! That did look painful. <coughs> okay, so it can in fact also fry your HP. No, I was already low health. Oh, okay. It doesn't even do that much damage when you get down to it. So I see. Or maybe it's just because I happen to get behind cover. Let's test that. Hit me! <coughs> oh, no, I don't care that we're in a hurry. Oh, it fucks your shields up. Yeah, like, it just takes your entire shield. <laughs> anyway, where are we going now? Oh, that way. I think it's this way? Maybe? Yes. Elevators! What could Wonderful! On? Time to survive wave after wave! <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Or that. Because the get overrode my hack? 
Think of my reputation. Yeah, <laughs> you were worried. <laughs> Come on, the drive course shouldn't be far. Oh, Tally. Yep. Sounds like Tally, all right. Yeah. Oh boy, cutscene again. Yeah. <clears throat> now it looks like the drive core. That it does. You know, you could just throw it up. Well, why would I do that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> In other words, if the if the Quarians didn't open fire, we wouldn't be in this mess. Yep. <sighs> Got it. Tully's order to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hamgarrow. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Oh boy, I missed him. <laughs> He's goodest boy. Yeah. Kiva. As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's Drive Core. All weapons and barriers are offline. <laughs> Alert! Get reinforcements incoming! We noticed. That's a prime. So I think. The gas fleet is destabilized. Watch out, that's a signal is offline. Civilian fleet. Prepare to withdraw. The bottom fleet will cover you once the heavy fleet is in position. Whenever you're ready, as we are now. The warriors have a chance now. Combat drone inbound. Hmm, good idea. Combat drone. Yeah. Turret? Good idea. Let's throw one too. <laughs> it is rather nice to be able to just serve it, serve it right back at them. Pretty much, yeah. Mm, I don't have anything that can really mess him up. Short of using override, and that's not really going to work on a prime. I have fireball though. If it'll let me use my ability. Fireball hurts oh, right. armor. Yeah, fireball's yeah, good against that. God, get siege cannons are painful. Yeah, I can imagine. It's a siege cannon. Do you mind, motherfucker? I think he does. Yeah, well, I took well, it matters. Help us. No barriers. The police gun is offline. We can remove their flagship if we strike. 
Um, we're still on board this crate. Hello there. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Hunter. That's another prime, I think. Yep. Oof. That'll ruin his shield. That is it. And that fireball really messes his armor. Yeah. Very good time to leave. Shepard Commander, the Creator fleet is firing upon this vessel. Without barriers, this ship will be destroyed. We must evacuate. We need to get to the escape pods. Can't transmit intelligences via remote signal. We do not use escape pods. Suggestions? Not that door. So I see. Shepard deflate. Hold fire. I repeat, hold fire. They're not responding. Damn it. Shepard Commander, we have taken control of docking protocols. We'll be right there. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Oof. Listen, it's just, listen, it's just a mild headache. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's cool and all, but imagine how useful that would be against our Reaper. Right. And y'all broke it. They fired on the Dreadnought while you were on board? They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead. I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangers us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand that. 
Nope. Fuck him. Mm. He shouldn't have. Simple as that. He shouldn't have it without saying anything. He should have given us warning beforehand. I mean, he... He said he would, then he refused to acknowledge any communication and did so anyway, despite every attempt to tell him to stop. Yeah, but we're also trying to earn their favor, so let's play nice. I mean, we're trying to earn some of their favor. He's the admiral of their, mil of their main military fleet. Only if he's in charge. We can't replace him. Damn it. You did the right thing. Just give me a heads up next time. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad there's at least one other soldier in the room. I've got to get back to the heavy fleet. Ron, we'll talk later. I mean, it's not like it's not fun. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Hot. Admiral Corus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. Mm. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. I see your Geth friend has returned. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth consensus. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feelings? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits... ...are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kayla, I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Geralt. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. <laughs> Edie. Can you clean this up? I will try. This is the college. We've lost barriers. Our call system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? Ron, the Kinesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kinesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. Allied forces updated. Miracle at Palavan. War I said after it. Krogan fans. I like how it just marches on, even when we're not doing anything relevant to them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, if you don't have Legion with you, like when you go to do Tally's trial, like you just don't bring him with you, they actually they they'll actually be caught off guard when Legion walks in. <laughs> <laughs> but since we brought him w with us, they're like, ah, yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking he is that, a rather recognizable get this one. Yep. Shepherd Commander. You opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. She's done enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the Creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? 
Yeah, good question. increased the number of GAT allied with the old machines. This has resulted in a greater number of hostile GAT platforms. So you're saying oh. it was a mistake? It has put us at a tactical disadvantage. This was not a foreseen outcome, but we cannot change a decision once it is made. Do you have no. regrets about rewriting the heretics? The Quarians hit first. If we get rid of the Reaper signal, maybe this war doesn't have to end with everyone destroyed. An interesting notion. Most organics would not hold on to ideals of peace for so long. What was interfacing with the Reaper, Mike? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming. Unknowable. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced, but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. And enough? Yep. What did you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> also, the fact that... that it's just straight up says, Yeah, we were getting ready to fight them too. And then the Quarians happened. And the Quarians decided to be fucking idiots. Yep. If it weren't for if it weren't for them launching a suicidal attack, we could have rolled in and immediately just got two fresh armies. Mm-hmm. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house the whole Geth, to store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it? Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Oops. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. Yep. And that's mm -hmm. the thing, and that's the thing about Geth that you sometimes have to remind yourself about. What makes them intelligent is networking together. Mm -hmm. Like Legion being like a thousand something programs in one platform. Yep. So yeah, it just kind of was a big red panic button for them. Mm-hmm. Once again, goddammit, Corians. Yep. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Have to go and cause stress for best boy. Mm-hmm. All right, Tally. Shepard, uh, Commander. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. <laughs> I'd like to. Believe me. But my people need me here. Yeah, we'll see how, that la how long that lasts. <laughs> Yeah. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real Admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The Board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. <laughs> well, Ron certainly seems a different. Yeah. How did the war with the Geth get started, anyway? 
Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed radar pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. Welp. Talk to you Ooh. later, Callie. Sure. Once again, Guardians being stupid. To be fair, they couldn't have known the Reapers would have just been like, Hey, we got your back. I mean... Was it still stupid ass decision to uh, attack the, the Geth? Yes. Yeah, you know, especially with the upcoming invasion and all of that. Like, as far as times to attack the Geth, that was probably the worst possible time to attack the Geth. Yep. Zaid and his buddies. See what else? Volus bombing fleet. Nothing special here. Oh, there's more for Citadel spaces there. The defense force. I don't even remember what that is. So many fucking updates. <coughs> yeah. The Raloi cruiser. You know, from the yeah, yeah. very vague background information stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that was the digital people. No, that's thing. the bird people. Uh, the digital people were just, I think they were just called the digital aliens or something like that. Uh, I think it's under Alliance. I just kind of completely forgot what the, what the weird people, about the weird people, which I guess was kind of what they intended. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they intended. <laughs> Is under N7s? Yeah, Virtual Alien Immortals. Fun. Biotic Bloom. Hanar Bionics. Biotics. Fun. Hey, we'll take anything we can get. Yeah. Anyway. Well, time to fight a war within a war. Mm, yeah. Next time. So, in the meanwhile, Goodbye. later.